Hi guys, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a quick and easy and pretty healthy blueberry muffin whole wheat. It's going to be completely whole wheat. It's not going to taste um, healthy or whatever, if, if that's a bad thing to some people. It's really delicious. You're not going to miss anything in this muffin. It's ready in no time. Great for serving for, with uh, breakfast, maybe with some jam and butter, or even with a nice cup of tea if somebody comes over. They freeze great and they're really tasty. So what we're going to need is, let's go over the ingredients. We're going to need some vanilla extract, a little bit of cinnamon. I just spooned a few uh, tablespoons of sugar and cinnamon on here because we're going to sprinkle them on top of our muffins. We need some vegetable oil, an egg, some yogurt. This is not Greek yogurt, this is plain yogurt. And you're going to, you're going to want to make sure you're, going, you're using plain yogurt instead of the Greek yogurt so that way the muffin is nice and light. If you can't find plain yogurt, if Greek yogurt is all you have, do half Greek yogurt, half milk. That'll work too. Of course, we need some blueberries. I'm using frozen. You can use fresh. Frozen is just what I always have on hand. We're going to use the zest of an orange, some sugar, and then our dry ingredients. We have whole wheat flour. Get a really good, good quality, the best quality that you can find. I like to get stone ground organic flour. It really bakes up really nicely. We need, we need have a bit of cinnamon here, some salt, baking powder, and baking soda. I'm going to begin by zesting my orange with my microplane. If you don't already have a microplane, I'll put a link down below where you can find one online. You can also substitute um, lemon, lemon zest if you really wanted to. Lemon and blueberries go lovely together. I'm just going to mix this up so everything is nice and combined. This recipe comes together in no time. You can do this in a really nice big bowl with a, with a spatula, but I'm using my tabletop mixer just because it frees up my hands and it makes it much easier and quicker. I'm going to begin by putting in my wet ingredients and my sugar. I'm just going to go ahead and give that a mix. And I'll also add my vanilla extract. Once it's all mixed up, all I'm going to do is add my flour in two, three batches. And you definitely don't want to overmix the batter. Once everything comes together, I'm just going to take it out and we're going to fold in our blueberries. Now I have a cupcake line, a cupcake tin or a muffin tin line with little cupcake liners and I have a scoop that's going to help me scoop it out evenly. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit so you want to make sure your oven is ready so that way you're not, it's not waiting for you because you want, these are going to pop in the oven and bake in under 20 minutes. Okay so once your muffin tins are filled and you want to do that as evenly as possible, if you want to add a little bit of extra crunch you can certainly add, sprinkle some of this cinnamon sugar on top you don't want to you can leave it out. I've made it both ways and both ways are very very good and we're going to pop these in our oven and bake them anywhere between 18 to 20 or 22 minutes. What you're going to be looking for is for when they're going to be completely cooked when you insert a toothpick and it comes out dry and I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're ready. So my muffins took about 21 minutes to bake and as you can see they came out very easily leaving barely any crumbs on my baking pan right here, on my muffin pan. So you could butter it, I forgot to say that, but you could butter it or spray it with nonstick spray to ensure them coming out like really easily, but they really did come out without any problem. They're still sort of warm and you want to wait a little bit for them to cool down completely, but I'm not waiting. <laughs> I usually don't wait. They smell delicious. Let me show you what they look like on the inside really moist. Can you see that? Let's taste and see. See that blueberry? Mm. Perfect. Not too sweet. You get a little bit of crunch from the sugar on top. All I need is to go and make myself a cup of tea and enjoy the rest of this muffin. And you guys should go and see if you have these ingredients in your pantry and make yourself a batch. Call some friends over and um, have, enjoy a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee. The description box will contain the link that takes you straight to my website, www.demetriosdishes.com. You'll find this recipe with exact measurements and many, many more recipes. 
Thumbs up this video, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone!